Hi and welcome to this video about PeerGrade. PeerGrade is an online platform to allow teachers and students to use peer feedback sessions, either within the class or as homework. Students hand in their work and then are allocated the work of other students to give feedback to, using a rubric or assessment criteria created by the teacher. There are lots of benefits to completing a peer feedback session. Students get a lot more feedback and more importantly, they learn a lot from the process by looking at their peers' work, reflecting on the quality of that work and formulating constructive feedback for one another. Up next, we'll take a look at the student interface. Now we're looking at the student interface. So you can see I'm logged in as Jakob up here on the right. The course title is Introduction to Entrepreneurship and there are three assignments on the course and they're all at various stages of completion. As a student, I have three steps to follow. So the first one is to upload a hand-in and you can see that in this assignment on the right here, um, the hand-in deadline has not come up yet. So I have to hand in my work. And I do this firstly by reading through the description of the hand-in to see what my teacher is looking for. And then obviously completing my piece of work and then clicking on upload hand-in. I have the option to either paste a link in this box here, so I would use that if I've completed the assignment or hand in using Google Docs, uh, or if I'm doing a course that involves YouTube videos, for example, the link would go here. Otherwise, I click on Upload File, and PeerGrade supports pretty much all file types. The next step is to give feedback to my peers, which I do by clicking on the Give Feedback button. So you can see I have three peers' work to look at here on the left, and all of them are anonymous, so I don't know whose work it is I'm looking at. With peer number one, the first thing I would do is click on Download Hand In, and that will take me to their work. I have a look through and read what they've written. And then in peer grade, I work my way through the assignment criteria or the rubric that the teacher has set and answer the questions there. You can see there are different types of questions. We've got yes or no with a text box. We have scale questions. And also just open text box questions for things like reflection. The last thing that I can do as a student in peer grade is to have a look at the feedback that I've received. So I do this by clicking on the received feedback button. So again, I have three anonymous graders on the left here. I'm going to take a look at number two. And I can read through the feedback they've given to me. And as I'm reading it, I can react to it. So I can mark a piece of feedback as helpful by clicking here. Or if there's a piece of feedback that I disagree with or I think is unfair for some reason, I can click on the flag feedback button. And I can explain in here what it is that I don't like about the feedback. This will notify the teacher of the course who can come in and mediate and uh, tell us if it's myself or the grader that's correct. Finally, when I finish reading through all my feedback, I can add a reaction here. So I can rate the feedback from not at all useful to extremely useful, constructive and justified. I can also give some tips for improvement, so I might want the grader to be more specific or justified. And I can write additional comments about the feedback to help my grader to improve their feedback for next time. Up next, we'll take a look at the teacher interface. So now we're looking at the teacher interface. So this is the same course, Introduction to Entrepreneurship, but we're looking at it from the teacher's side. You get this course overview that tells you any upcoming deadlines for the course and also some information about any recent activity that's been going on. If we click on this participants button on the left here, we can see who's taking part in this course. So here we have our list of participants. And to add participants into the course, you can do this individually using a name and email address. You can bulk import students using a list of names e and email addresses. You can add students using a course code. 
or if you have an integration to your LMS, you can just pull students over from the LMS. So now if we go into an individual assignment, we can see what the setup for that looks like. So you can see here, this is where the teacher has written the description for the assignment. They've also added an attachment to give some further details about what they're looking for. They set their deadlines down here. And because this hand-in has already happened, we get a bit of information about how many students actually handed in and what the grade distribution was. The rubric tab here is where the teacher has set up the assessment criteria for their students to use. And if we click on hand-ins here, we can see the students um, sorted by the score they received for their hand-in. We can very quickly have a look at a student's hand-in by clicking on download. We can also see who's given feedback to the student and what they said if we want to have a look. The settings tab here is where you really customise your assignment. So you can decide what file types you'd like students to use, whether they're going to hand in as individuals or as groups, um, and other settings. Finally, if we click on the summary button here, we get some information about students' performance throughout the course. So I can click on any given student, for example Colin here, and I can see how Colin's performed with his feedback, I can also see how he's performed with his hand-ins and I can go in and write a grade up here if I'd like and some comments here. And those are the main features of the teacher interface.